All right, so in this chapter, we're going to do a few different things. Uh, the first thing I want to do is implement the volume control. All right, because right now, if we play it and turn it up, it doesn't do anything, okay? It's not getting louder or softer. All right, so let's open up. Uh, let's open up HTML, the HTML with Notepad and uh, the main JavaScript file. All right, so we have play, pause, and stop function functionality, which is all set. So what we want to do is grab the volume object. All right, so if we go to the HTML, we have an input which has the ID of volume. All right, and the minimum is zero and the maximum is 10 and the default will be four. All right, so let's grab this with jQuery. All right, I'm just, I'm gonna add some comments here just so we know what everything does. Okay, so we want volume control. So let's grab that with jQuery. The input tag has an ID of volume. All right, so what do we want to do with that? We want to do something when it changes. So we're going to use the change event. And inside the change, <coughs> we want to run a self-calling function and what we want to do is uh, grab the audio object and, and use the volume property so audio volume is going to equal parse float uh, and we're going to use the keyword this which pertains to the actual uh, volume control value divided by 10 Basically, the parse float function, uh, it parses a string and returns a float, a floating point number. All right, and then inside of that, we're going to say this value uh, divided by 10 because 10 is our max. All right, um, so let's try this out. All right, so I'm going to turn it up. down, up, all right, so it's working. So it's as easy as that. You can see very uh, minimal amount of code to implement the volume. All right, so the next thing we want to do is implement the duration, okay? We want this um, timer to, to go when the song's playing uh, and we also want this progress bar to fill up as the song plays. All right, so what we're going to do is create a new function and put a comment. I'll just say time slash duration. And I'm going to create a function called show duration. Now, what I want to do is we want to bind the time update uh, event. Okay, so with the uh, with the audio API, there's a, a time update event which basically shoots off every second. All right, so what we want to do is grab the audio object and we want to set uh, bind and the first parameter is the name of the event which is going to be time update and then the second is going to be a function okay so the first thing we want to do is get the hours and minutes and we're going to set a couple variables s is going to be for second 
basically we're going to call this uh, parse int JavaScript function uh, on audio dot current time. Uh, we want the percent and then we want 60. Okay, so this little formula here is, is basically just going to give us this, the um, uh, the seconds that have passed. Okay, so now we want to grab the minutes. So we'll say variable m equals parse int, which just turns whatever is in here into an integer, into a number. And same thing, audio dot current time uh, divided by 60. And then here we want modulus uh, 60. Okay, so that little formula will give us the minutes. All right, now, now what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do here is run a check and see if the seconds are less than 10, and if they are, I wanna put a zero, because by default, it's gonna say, um, it'll be like uh, one, two, or something like that. I want it to be one, oh, two. Okay, so it's, it's very easy to do. We just need to create a little condition. I will say if seconds is less than t 10, all right, then what we're gonna do is say s is equal to zero. Um, s is equal to zero plus s. All right, so if it's four, it'll be 04. Okay, so next, <clears throat> um, what we wanna do is insert the time or the duration into the duration div. Okay, so we have a div with the ID of duration. So let's select that with jQuery. Okay, duration. And to insert HTML into uh, a div in jQuery, we can just use the HTML method. And what we wanna put is first the minute and I'm gonna concatenate uh, a dot and then concatenate on the seconds, okay? I'm sorry, not a dot, I want a colon. All right, so that'll put it in and next, we wanna implement the progress bar all right, so this is fairly easy. We just wanna get a percentage for the time, and then we'll set that percentage as the width on the progress bar, all right? So we're gonna start with creating a variable called value, and that's gonna be equal to zero. And we wanna do an if statement, and basically we're gonna say if audio current time is greater than zero, then value is going to equal math. We're gonna use the math function, uh, the math.for function. And inside here, uh, basically, I'm gonna put another set of parentheses and say 100 divided by audio dot duration multiplied by audio dot current time. Okay, so this is basically going to give us a percentage of out of uh, 100 where that the actual song, the time in the song is. All right, and then under here, we're going to grab that progress div And we're gonna add some CSS using jQuery. And basically we wanna get the width property. Okay, and we're actually gonna set that to the value and percent. So let me just concatenate on the percent. All right, so every second, 
every time the time update event fires off, which is every second, the value will increase up until it's 100%, which will be the whole song. All right, so let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Okay, I'm gonna reload. All right, so the song is playing, but we're not getting a duration. Let me just check out the JavaScript. Okay, we're not getting any errors. Um, oh, you know what? We never we, we haven't called the show duration method. <laughs> All right, so we have to actually call this in the play when we click the play button. We'll call that function. All right, so let's try this again. All right, so we can see the time and you can see the progress bar as well filling up. Excellent. If we pause it, it stays where it's at, play it, keeps going. If we stop it, it goes back to zero. So that's working perfectly. All right, so the last thing we have to do here is just implement the playlist and be able to switch through songs. So I'm going to save that for the next chapter, and I will see you there. Thanks.